Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the ninth tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to begin our discussion on operators and uh, an operator in programming is a symbol that allows you to perform an operation such as uh, you know we use the addition symbol to perform the addition operation on numbers and then we use the minus symbol or the hyphen to perform the subtraction operation so you know likewise there are lots of operators that python allows us to use so in python we have seven kinds of operators and uh, you know the seven kinds are arithmetic then you have uh, comparison or relational operators then you have the assignment operators and then you have uh, logical operators and then bitwise operators and uh, what are the other two you have membership operators and you have the identity operators right so these are all the seven different kinds of uh, operators that we have in python and in this tutorial we're going to talk about the arithmetic operators and comparison operators and in the next few tutorials we are going to talk about the rest right so if you want to add values then you can use the addition symbol as i said so you know i'm just going to work with the numbers and operators to you know just demonstrate the operators to you and uh, this is really good stuff so if i want to add 10 to 15 i'll type in 10 then the addition symbol which is the addition arithmetic operator and then 15 so 10 and 15 here are known as operands and uh, the addition symbol is known as the operator right, so when i press the enter key i see the result as 25 and if i want to subtract 10 from 15 i type in 15 first and then 10 later with the minus symbol as the subtraction operator in between and i get the output as 5. If I want to multiply 10 and 15, I'll use the asterisk symbol or the multiplication operator and uh, the two operands. The answer is 150. And then if I want to divide 15 by 10, I'll type in 15 first, then the slash or the division operator, and then the second operand 10. And there you go, the result is 1.5. And if I want to find out the remainder of the division of uh, 15 by 10, so we know that 10 uh, does not perfectly divide 15 it leaves a remainder of 5 when you try to divide 15 by 10 so when I press the enter key here I see 5 and percentage symbol here is known as the modulus operator and if you want to find out the power of something raised to something so let's say you want to find out you know 3 raised to the power 2 then uh, you can use the exponentiation operator and which is you know two asterisk symbols put together so you type in 3 first, if you want to find out the square of 3, then you type in 2 as the power. When you press the enter key, you see 9 in the result set, right? So 3 raised to the power 2 is 9. Next, we're going to talk about comparison operators. So I'm going to, you know, create a, create two variables. So the first variable that I'm going to create is A, I'll give it the value 15. The second variable that I'm going to create is B, and I'll give it the value 10. And, uh, you know, if I want to check whether a equals b or not then i can use the double equal to you know comparison operator and that you know operator is used for equality checks so you know if i want to check whether a is uh, equal to b or not i'll type in the equal to symbol twice and uh, you know this is what it should look like so you type in a first two equal to symbols and then the second variable name which is b when I press the enter key, I see the result as false. So A is not equal to B because they have different values. Obviously, A is 15 and B is 10. And uh, if I check whether A is not equal to B, so this is the reverse of the previous test. And, uh, you know, the operator for this is you type in the exclamation symbol first and then the equal to symbol. So this, you know, these two symbols put together is the not equ equal to check, right? And uh, when I press the enter key now, I see that I get true as a result because 15 and 10 are not equal to each other. And then uh, if I want to check whether A is greater than B or not, I simply type in A greater than B. And uh, that is true because A is 15 and B is 10. And if I check whether A is less than B or not, then uh, I get the result as false. So, you know, I hope you guys are keeping a note of the operators here. So the greater than operator is this symbol, right? It's called the... Uh, I don't know the left angular bracket I suppose and then this symbol is known as the right angular bracket I could be wrong you know I'm not sure about this but then you know I, I am sure that you guys are familiar with these symbols and uh, then if you want to check whether a is equal to or greater than b so you know this basically checks whether a is equal to b if that's not true then whether a is greater than b if any of those values uh, is true then the result is true right so a has to be greater than b or it has to be equal to b and uh, 
you know, the next one or the last one that we're going to check out in this tutorial is the less than equal to operator. So I'll type in A, then the less than symbol, the equal to symbol, and then B. And uh, this is obviously false because A is greater than B. Right. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we are going to check out the bitwise operators and logical operators in Python. And I hope you guys are having fun and uh, stay tuned to my channel for more updates. And you can subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Take care till then.